All right, starting into the match with Azel Slash versus Decidueye. This matchup is um, interesting from a personal perspective. So we'll see what tactics that paper set goes to here in uh, field and duel. So I've noticed there are definitely some player habits. Um, but we'll, we'll see here. Able to catch after the King Shield activates. Able to land the JX. And just go into an auto combo here. That's all right. Decent damage. Good 8 wide there. Seeing the um, uh, Soaring Stance pop out. 8 wide is usually a good opportunity. Now, that was a really good use of Dragonite there. And it actually uh, restanded instead of the Air Tech. Which is uh, interesting. And actually can extend for some combos. So I like that. Able to 8 wide in time before Decidueye can do anything. Ooh, able to land that beam and goes into a projectile. Not the one I was expecting, but it works. That projectile there is a nuisance. Ooh, able to catch at the end of the laser. All right, the counterattack is going to work out there at the end. That is punishable, so I don't know if that was a proper punish, but it certainly worked out, and Paper Sack is going to go ahead and take the first round. Able to kind of project out trade there. Unfortunately, they go a block against the forward Y. Goes for the burst attack. It's going to ignore Diglett and it's going to land here. There's your fair Rocher. This will do decent damage, but of course not kill. Any work to still be done here. That job is kind of like scaled down a little bit. V for victory. Goes for the burst attack. No, oh, but unfortunately activated in air, so that was punishable there. Tries to go for King Shield. That is punishable. Just gonna punish the combo. Able to land the laser. Goes for the pew pew. Sets out some mist. Goes into the 8Y, and that will take it. Paper Sack taking game one. All right, looks like we are seeing a change here. I, uh, I'm not too familiar with how much experience that Snails has uh, with the game. Um, but that's fine. We certainly welcome new players and trying this game out, um, and definitely in bracket. All right, so Snail's switching to breaks in. All right, so we did activate the shield stance into sword stance. Uh, which gave Paper Sack a buff, but sometimes that's actually okay to do, I think. Ooh, nice hop of the beam! I think that would work out. Trying to go for JX. Able to land that um, uh, V projectile. Gotta be careful with the mist. Paper decides to go into shield stance. That could mean that miss popping. And actually, that's actually exactly what happened. Sorry, I missed what that final blow was. But uh, mist activating when paper went into shield stance is actually what took the kill there. He's gonna get the phase shift thanks to the side beam. Uh oh, hopping up into B. Oh, the Dragonite. Okay, not able to uh, block in time. Goes for the Diglett. All right, Diglett's going to get ignored. Okay, okay. JY snagging at the last second there. 
Ooh, not able to snag a vulnerable frame. Very close, though. Goes for the burst attack. Hops over. She tried King Shield. Uh, this little combo. Yeah! Alright, alright! <laughs> alright, some decent damage there. However, Paper Sack also now has synergy. Be careful with that range. She's using some of the iframes to get around it, but the side beam is going to work out. Closing the gap real quick. Paper's going to be able to punish the approach. Unfortunately, I can't hear if she's getting just frames or not, so hopefully it's coming through. Diglett coming out. Dragonite's going to come out. Diglett's going to work out. Try to combo off of it. Oh. Just trying to find that opportunity. Hey! All right. Able to land that side beam at the last second. And uh, Snails is going to snag around here. Try to go for a king shield. Didn't reach. Oh, this Shadow Sneak working out. U-Bone's gonna push right into the Fire Spin. Interesting. Snail's already down in a tight spot, so a lot of damage here. Oh, the JYX is going to snag and finish it off. So Paper Sack taking this 2-0. -oh. Well, good fight there from Snails. Alright, so I need to figure out who is up on stream next. Give me just a moment, I'll be right back.